Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to be working out in the uh, woodshed. I got a bunch of wood out there to split, but before I get started doing that, I want to go ahead and make some breakfast. So I'm going to be making some breakfast burritos. I'll make a big batch up so that I, I have, I can eat that every day before I go to work. And everything we're going to be using today pretty much is going to be something that we grew out here, um, out here on the property. So it'll be almost a complete homegrown meal. Use about a half pound of sausage. This is our frozen bell peppers, chopped up. It's colorful, isn't it? <clears throat> so now I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these, uh, this is one of our chipotle peppers that we made. We're gonna grind that up. We're gonna add that for a little bit of heat to the burritos. You can see it still has a, <coughs> oh man, that's hot, even the dust. <laughs> you can still see the, the seeds are all in it. It's gonna be hot. Now we'll go ahead and use six eggs from the chickens. homemade picante sauce, a little bit of cheese, so the cheese isn't homegrown either, but most of this is. There we go, breakfast burrito. So after my breakfast this morning, I actually had to finish yesterday's video, so Yesterday, I was clearing the backside of the dam. I ended up running out of daylight. So this morning, I had to get up, uh, finish that video up. I had to pick up all that brush, haul it to the brush pile. So now it's in the afternoon, and I'm finally getting to where I can split wood. So in this lean-to here, we've brought more wood here. I think we've got all the firewood now brought here to the lean-to. Not all of this was here the other day. So all the firewood is now in one location, and most of it's actually all from one tree so there was one big tree in my ants yard that fell fell down last year and so most of this except for that one pile pretty much the rest of all of this is all from that one tree and you can see we've got a huge pile right there that needs split up and the bigger chunks of wood from her house were so big you couldn't lift them so we took the log splitter there and then we cut them into manageable sizes to load them on the trailer and that's what that pile is back there they're nice big chunks of wood but I need to split those down farther so they're the right size for the fireplace. So eventually I'd like to get this all split up. I mean, it's going to take several days to get this all split up, but eventually I'd like to have it all split up. I'd like to get it all stacked in here nice and neat uh, because I've got several more trees that I want to cut down this year. I think I've identified like eight trees that I need cut down. So before I cut down any of those trees, I really would like to have this kind of straightened out so that I make space for all the trees that I'm going to cut down this year. So it'll take several days to do it, but uh, today I'm just going to start with that pile.
So uh, while I was splitting that firewood, I was trying my best to try to make pieces that had two sides that were this, you know, parallel with each other, nice flat sides. Um, because I want to use these for when I stand, uh, um, when I stack the firewood, I'm going to do those freestanding stacks. And you kind of do like a log cabin deal, you know, you just kind of, you kind of stack them up crisscross, make a nice solid end for the rest of your firewood to lean against. So I'm trying my best to at least set myself up uh, for success when I finally go to stack the firewood. So you can see I've got uh, a small stack of ones over here that are straight, um, but I only made it about halfway through that pile. So there was quite a bit there and that's going to take me a while. I can just imagine how long it's going to take me to get all this done. But I'm going to go ahead and call it quits tonight because next weekend is actually deer hunting weekend. So I need to get the gun out, uh, get the shotguns out and I need to check and make sure they're still sighted in okay. Because uh, we go shotgun hunting and Rebecca misses, I'll probably get the blame. Uh, for not checking the sights so i better get that done before i run out of daylight so anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you in the next one